Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, all right? And this is going to be messages for the divine feminine, okay? So keep in mind that this is a general reading. So only take the part that resonates divine films, okay? And leave the rest, all right, guys? Um, I will call all the signs and the energies that I see. So only take the part that is for you, okay? What is not is for another spiritual family member. All right, guys. Also, if you need me for something more specific to your situation, I'm open and available for readings. I offer one, two, and three question readings films if you need me. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I did see that spirit card pop out, guys. All right. So um, we are in mirroring. So you're basically mirroring the masculine energy, all right? You're masculine, you're divine masculine. So some of you guys might want to go ahead and take a look at that. Keep in mind, guys, we do have both energies, right? So let's break this down. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits, when it comes to the divine feminine, what messages do you have for the, the yeah, see, there, there's a lot of, what is this, films, okay? All right, so there could have been some hit button going on. Um, a little bit restriction, a little bit of doubt. This could be you and another person. Okay. So let's get into it, guys. Give me something for the divine feminine. Almighty beautiful you. Oh. Yippers. So, um, I'm going to just say this at the bottom of the deck. A pumpkin patch, a wonderful idea, all moment. Yeah. Someone had, and I saw this. I saw this too. So, I'm here in Halloween time. Halloween time could be specific to the message. Check it how it resonates. We have the ghost of the past. The past returns for time. Hmm. Something is... You don't want to end or someone don't want something to end with you. Yep. And here goes the time clock. Do you see it? A clock work pumpkin. A wonderful idea. All moment is also here. Here it is. Strange Valentine. Love is strange. This is a lover. You see clarity and clairvoyance. This is funny. Three. Because the masculine got a similar card. I swear. Oh my gosh. It's almost like the same. So I might have to um go ahead and, and, and um, read this card. This one is really poking out to me. But like I said, this is... You guys are mirroring each other. You want them to come back. They want you to come back. This is um, an ex-lover also wanting to come back for um, their divine feminine. This person is definitely missing you. You had some time with this person. Yep. And judgment is being caught here in her knowing. I feel like a lot of you guys might feel this person's energy and know that this person's coming back. But they are coming back, honey. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits when it comes to the divine feminine. The collective, what messages do you have for the divine? Um, the collective messages for the divine feminine. All right. Let's see what messages do you have. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits when it comes to the divine feminine. What messages do you have? So we have, yep, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> here it goes. Take it how you want to. The conversation. This person is coming in to communicate with you, Gemini Taurus energy. Now, if you notice with this um energy, yep, lovers, they're in love with you. Period. But this, like I said, I always say this night is the night that is the only night in the tarot that is engaged in battle. So yeah, okay, this could be a strong situation. This person is still very guarded. There could have been some things they didn't like, maybe some things that went down between you guys they didn't appreciate. Yep, but here they go manifesting this back in, all right? And past life is here, yep, in reverse, okay? I hope you guys can see that. Um. Yep, the past returns for joy here. 
this you had a cycle with this person also a past relation past life relationship is also here Woo, child lovers and judgment is right here boom this is your twin or soulmate energy bump period i feel like both you guys know here it is the universe is here. I feel like you guys both had a lot of secretnesses, a lot of signals from the universe. Virgo energy there. Fire energy. The sun energy there. Yep, there it is. There's the rebirth. This is also rebirth here with the magician, by the way. Um, death also represents rebirth. Scorpio energy. And here goes here comes the new beginning. Yes, child. This person's coming in. Here's three of swords. So there could have been some infidelity. Something could have came in between this here. All right. Yeah, something could have came in between you guys. And it could be worrying this person um, from coming forward towards you. Let's get one more card, Spirit. Yep, they're defensive here. And the magician on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with someone here that's in with the Magician energy on the bottom of the deck in the Star card and the Ace of Wands. This is someone who's extremely passionate. This could um be a celebrity here. I feel like there could have been some infidelity issues here. I feel like you might may have know, know this. Also, for some of you guys, you could be a spiritualist or very spiritual also with the uh, magician in the high priestess here. Um, energy, let's pull the magician out here. Okay. Yeah. And this could be, this person could be a little bit defensive towards you at this time. Okay. Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, all fire signs, air Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. You can have a four sign, um, fire sign placement and air four placement or this person does. Okay. There could have been some infidelity here. Yeah. Some kind of third party. We're going to get down to that. So there's a secret that this person's hiding from you. You also, um, both of you guys could be, um, some kind of public platform, um, of of some sort okay this could um be for a celebrity as well okay third party here there could have been um a lot of there this could be you know addiction mindsets behavior sexual addiction also this person is somebody here could have a secret family on the side here that you don't know about or a relationship that they started here with the Ace of Wands energy that you might not have known about. And this is why things could have ended with you with Scorpio energy. But what I'm seeing here is that it, something ended and it didn't work out here. So let's get into that. What is the death card about, Spirit? Tell me more about the death card. This person knows they love you here with this lover and the judgment here. Why is the death card in here? Thank you, Spirit. And we have Scholar, yep. Yeah, something, um, they know they had to end something here. Yep, Co consolidation and conversation. I feel like something ended, yeah. This was a third-party relationship. Three of Swords, Spirit. Thank you so much. Yeah, see, um, yeah, this is someone that they could have also known from their child or you knew them from, um, when you guys were childhood friends. Friend is here. Yep. Mm-hmm. And cheerfulness. Also, this person may, um, you might know, um, you guys, you know, you might even know this person, um, that they were with here, Ace of Wands. You could have similar people you guys know or something like that. Sorrow. Yeah. Boom. Okay, I feel like um this person wants to come back around to you. Yeah, yep, it's a misfortune. It didn't work out. Um, but this person, they they never. I just feel like they never lost love for you for whatever reason. Why you guys didn't work out, high priestess? I don't know what you know. Like I said, take a help resonates. But it ended. But this person is coming back around. Is this current energy here waiting in reverse? Yeah. See. Yep. This person's right look, and they're coming. This person, like I said, with this kind of energy here is what I'm seeing, okay? Very strong, forceful energy, okay? Um, Here. Yep, wedding. Yeah. This could be an offer. This could be... What is the Nine of Cups about? Um, We have fortune, yeah. See, this person wants to build with you here. Yep, joyfulness and... 
you know, um, I feel like they do see the enemies and they do understand why things ended with the death card. Death is here twice here. Um, let's get more on that. Why is the death card here twice, spirit? Ooh, that's a lot of energy. So we have expressed um, your love. They didn't tell you how they felt that you were their true love. Yep, there it is. Getting to know each other. This person wants to get to know you all over. They have romantic feelings for you. And they want to let go of anything. I feel like mixed fortune came out. So anything you know here that could be stopping this love. Okay. I also feel like this person feels as though this is will be a missed opportunity for a lifetime with the Nine of Swords energy there. Can I get something on the Nine of Swords, please? Sorry, guys. I know it's like my cards today is everywhere. So you guys' emotions could be everywhere in this person's. Yep. Flirt. They're worried about reaching out. Yep. They're worried. Yep. Yep. But they're stuck on you. And, I, and by the way, whoever they were talking to, I don't think they're talking to this person. No more judgment. Yep, forgiving and learning. Yeah, they're not. They want, they want, they, yeah. They're not talking to this person no more. Yep. They realize they couldn't trust this person, whoever that new love was. But they want to come towards you. Yep, release your ex. They want this reconciliation with you and have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. That is what's coming in for you, child. Okay? So, let's pull a little bit more energy when it comes to the lover's card. Oh, thank you, spirit. Marriage, again, this person, this person could come in and, yeah, they, they want this with you. Ten of Pentacles, that's marriage. Yep, wealthy man. Yep, Sutton Wealth. For some of you guys, they, they want to offer you something big, dumb too. Wealthy man, look, yeah, look, look. Ending to bed, health, toxic, all that shit. Because they want this. With you. That's it. They want it. They want it. And I don't think this person... Look, they're done with other people. And I don't think they even give a shit about who cares. If this person um, in the past thought about what others thought or about whatever, they don't give a fuck. And I can see that now because some people who live in an image, you know, when you have an image to keep, it's important. But I feel like now they're like, you know, as far as their love goes, they just want to be happy. I'm getting that for some of you guys who you could be dealing with. The Magician and another ones, please. Thank you. Yeah. See, so they could be a little di um, distance. They might be going through. Yeah. So they could have had some financial. Yeah. Child. Yep. There it is. So this person could have had um, someone they lived with. They could have also been married before with the Ten of Pentacles energy. This was a divorce. It cost them some kind of unexpected income, some kind of change from this person. And they weren't expecting that. So they might not have what they used to. They might not be the way they were at one point in time. But they still want to come in and have this abundant with you. Okay? And that's why this card is picking out to me and we're going to read it. It says, the ghost of the past, 42. I feel like you might not know this, okay? Because this is someone from your past. All right. It says, um, the ghost of the past. The past returns for a time. She speaks all about, um, all about me or ghosts of the past. Come here, perhaps, so I can finally lay them to rest. I have taken off my mask. And I know who I am while they are still wearing theirs and still very much as I left them so long ago. It seems I must turn and face them and make peace with them, perhaps even going over some old ground before I can move on to fresh fields. I have a urge to put my mask on and mingle with them as I was, but I will not. I will be who I am now and meet them without pretense and show them who I have become. I am no longer afraid of the shadows in my past. I am at peace with all that I have been and all that I am. I told you. Thank you, spirit. Oh my God. I love it. This is what this person is coming in. Six, 42, break it down to a six. Six is about harmony, being humble. This person had to humble themselves. They had to go through some things, some life lessons, certain things. And now they're coming in to have this union with you, period. Um, Yeah, that's like dope. I love it. Let's pull a couple more cards. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to pull a couple more cards from here. Then we'll get some time in and that will be the reading. This is pretty much clear as day, Divine Feminine. Yes, your person is coming in. Yep. This person has made up their... Oh, my God. Here it is. This person was going to date you. I feel like this person is going to um, take you on some kind of date. Yep. Here it is. Reconciliation. Yep. And tell you they want to be your loyal and surprise you. Yep, fresh start. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. You and the divine masculines. This, and I was saying this on the masculines. I said I knew I was going to do more readings, but you guys, divine masculine and feminine readings. But you guys be having me in my feelings, y'all. Y'all know how it's hard being an empath and like tuning in the energy. Like I be like, I know y'all be crying. Y'all be like, damn, this bitch is crying again. What you know, like? But um no, this is beautiful. So this person's going to date you. They could surprise you on a date, or want to take you to do something or something like that. And you know they might propose to you like that. That could be a way, or you guys can start dating, and then that proposal can come in. Let's get some time in. I'm hearing dice, so let's grab the dice. Spirit always lets me know this is so beautiful. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. When it comes to the collective and their person, do you have any timing? Any timing? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Can we get timing for the collective for this message? Thank you. Ooh. Oh, we have Taurus. What did I tell you? Taurus is ruled by money productivity. Um, and it is ruled by Venus as well. Practicality. This person is definitely working on something. This person is planning it strategically. Yeah. Yep. This person's going 11. That's also my twin flame card. 11 is spiritual God's power and authority. This person has been moved in the spirit. Yeah. This person knows that you're the person. They can feel you spiritually. What I tell you is my twin flame card. And we, oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. Neptune. Intuitive. Dream. Spirituality. Okay? Some of you guys has a, a spiritual. You can have a spiritual platform. I don't know. You could um read. I know I'm gifted in a couple different areas. All right? You could be into tarot reading, palm reading, water witching. Um, You know, there's many different... um many different Reiki healing, whatever, um, suits you. Okay. Here, um, this person, um, may have known that you did, you may also know that about you. It's you or this person. Okay. Also, both of you guys could be spiritual in different ways, okay? But these are also, and I said this before, can be um, twin flame soulmate energy here. So this is definitely your divine masculine coming back in. Oh my God, y'all. Congratulations. I told you first. All right, divine feminine. Yes, look, six of cups, and here it is. They love you. That's also a peace offering, also inner child, also past life. Also, you know this person from your past or coming back. This is beautiful. I just can't stop it. I just can't. Okay, films, that is what I have. It is plain as day. Get ready. I love you guys. I hope that this helps. You guys, it, it reaches you in a timely manner so you guys can get ready, okay, guys, because I feel like Romeo is coming to get Juliet, and I just love it. I just love this energy. It's like I don't even want to end this. It's beautiful. I love stuff. Like, I'm the type of person that, like, cries at weddings and shit. Like, I cry at weddings, and, like, I'm, like, that girl, you know? Like, I'm, like, oh, my God. But no, okay, I stop. <laughs> oh, but no, this is beautiful. Congratulations, guys. This is your divine masculine. So this is a, a special because this is the person. For some of you guys, this is the person that you want it, been wanting and waiting for. So this is this is dope. All right. If I resonate with you in any kind of way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to the channel. Make sure you're hitting the notification bell, guys. Make sure you're getting all the content that I release. All right, guys. If you would like to make a donation, you can do that. Everything you need is in the description box below. I love you guys. Next time, Ashe.